So I have a question for you. Would you ever consume salmon that is gray? The answer is no, right? Well, what if I were to give you gray salmon that has used food dye to make it look pink? Would you consume it? Well, chances are you are if you're consuming farm-raised salmon. In a recent video, I talked about the healthiest food that you could possibly eat is salmon. But I really made a big distinction between wild-caught and farm-raised. Now, just because they're similar doesn't mean they're the same. But today, I want to focus just on one big difference. It's the coloring. Now, the way that they make um, farm-raised salmon pink is they use something called a synthetic astaxanthin. That is a pigment compound, which also appears in nature. And in nature, natural astaxanthin has huge profound health benefits. But the synthetic version, there's never been any credible safety studies to show that it's safe for humans. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up is because there has been a lot of research on synthetic antioxidants and the danger is that it can actually increase your risk of cancer. So since this is also a synthetic antioxidant, you should just realize that there is no safety studies. And the problem with the situation is if someone does find a problem with this uh, in some study, it's going to take probably 20 years before it's taken off the market. So certain companies have synthesized this compound uh, out of petrochemicals, and they even sell different shades of pink, okay? So they have this color wheel, very similar to you going to the paint store and trying to find the right paint. You have these different colors on this chart. It's called a salmon fan, and you can pick and choose the color of pigment that you want. Because people will definitely spend more money on salmon if it's a dark colored pink. And also they do this with egg yolks to make it look really um, like a golden, yellow, orange. That's also produced by these synthetic, they're called carotenoids. Also, chicken is also dyed because if you don't have it, the nice pink uh, flesh color, uh, people might not eat it. So this is just another reason to get wild caught salmon, pasture raised organic eggs, and to buy organic chicken that is not colored, not to mention flavored. Yes, they also flavor chicken because it's so bland. But the next time you're in the grocery store, look at the back of the label when you buy chicken. It'll say chicken with uh, natural flavorings, okay? They actually put chicken flavoring to make the chicken taste more like chicken. Now, I'm doing a really big deep dive on um, antioxidants, phytonutrients, and doing testing with plants on how you would spike certain phytonutrients or pigments in plants. And you can do it with certain nutrients in the soil. You can do it with different types of lights. So it's a fascinating subject because there are a lot of health benefits from some of these pigments. So I just want to run down the list of all the great benefits of a natural astaxanthin. First of all, it's 50 times stronger in its ability to counter oxidation. It's 20 times stronger in handling free radicals. And what I'm comparing is the synthetic version. And like I said before, it has profound benefits on humans for your eye, for your brain, for your heart, for your immune system. It gives you UV protection with your skin. It even has anti-inflammatory properties. So it can do a lot. So the salmon get astaxanthin from krill and shrimp, okay? And the krill and shrimp get it from microalgae. And so microalgae are just loaded with this pigment. Now, just as a side note, what's fascinating about um, this compound and microalgae is that when algae is stressed, whether it's heat or cold or a lack of food, they eat up a lot of this astaxanthin. It's called bioaccumulation, but in a hyper mode. Then they can actually live to up to 40 years in extreme environments. And I'm talking about extreme cold, extreme heat, in environments where there's no food or water. It's a fascinating protective survival mechanism. So there are profound benefits from humans from consuming this compound. But of course, when you get it from farm-raised fish, it's not going to be the same. That chemistry is completely different. And one last point about astaxanthin. In nature, it always comes as a complex. At least five other carotenoids. But when you synthesize it in a lab, it only comes in one form. 
So other than the obvious reasons not to consume farm-raised fish, like they're fed GMO soy and corn, this synthetic version of astoxanthin um, could potentially be a problem if anyone decides to do the safety studies. Now, I think the next most important video to watch would be um, what I think is the healthiest food to eat, which is wild-caught salmon. Check it out. I put it right here.